And that's what it was. And that's what she was all about. Plus, she had a, a strong opinion, took care of her family. And she said, this is not a fair place. The comics never think this is a fair place. And you got you got to work. And it's, it's just a terrible thing to, to, for her family. You know, my heart goes out to the family because I... If you've been in a hospital like that, you realize you think you're all you're ever hopeful that something's going to pull through. And everybody, uh, everybody, we thought we thought was going to pull through. Next, you have two hey, questions. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, okay. First of all, how would you characterize Joan and her humor? No, I think she's uh, Richard Pryor with better breasts. I mean, she really had a she she focused on stuff that no one else focused on. What was I just watching the bit where she grew up? People that looked like her were killed. In that people not only didn't want to date you, they wanted to kill you. She says, "I'm not even. I wasn't even attractive in Russia," which it was. It she self self effacing, which is good. Took shots, but real clever, real fast. I mean, there's she she mirrored a, the best. What I like about comics, she's really quick about that. But she's kind, and I if you guys like Don Rickles, they're really caustic, but they're really kind people if you get the moment off. Same with Robin. These people, these these performers, and so. I hope I answered something in there. How do you think she's going to be remembered? I, I, I can't tell you. Her family obviously is, is a grandma and is a mom and a sister and a brother, all that, all that stuff. Sister and a brother. She's a transvestite. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That she, had, <laughs> she literally was a man. That's the news. <laughs> Who knew? But only me. I knew because I had something to do with financing. Look, there I go. Um, I hate to say groundbreaking because it's. Uh, she she was funny. That's why she became a comedian. The comics would welcome anybody to, that's funny. I, I just it, it very rarefied air the women in this business that rise to that level. And I know all of them, and they're all real funny, and they, I adore them. And they're it's just real rare stuff. But do they owe a debt to Joan Rivers? I think they owe a debt because oh gosh, we could do that. This doesn't require you know backbreaking skills, digging ditches. This is not a glass ceiling. This is a mud floor. This is this is not high end stuff. You're funny, and comics love that. Period. I don't think it has anything to do with being a female. I mean, the, a lot of the, the females can use female points of view, but Joan was just a funny person. Thank okay. you. Next. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. The, the Russian mob is in here. <laughs> Tim, did, did, Joan, Joan, Joan's brand of humor was so uh, was so edgy, right? She had uh, she bad wasn't words. afraid to you take. You mean bad words. Yes, she wasn't afraid to take shots at anyone, right? And, and that brand of humor is almost very rare in this day and age well, in, in, the, in the PC you, environment yeah, we live in. You can't get away with the crap she said, not, not nowadays. It's so, it's, I'm gonna, in about 40 minutes, I'm gonna do most of my act is about this. It's not the same, certainly when I grew up, you gotta be very careful even here in this hollowed ground of the Laugh Factory. You gotta be careful how you use words. Where she came from, she came into that Lenny Bruce, and then she moved into Richard Pryor. They all managed their their words differently, but she didn't give a shit, you know. She earned it. She earned the right to say whatever she wanted, and she she reinvented herself all the time. That's something that's something that's very admirable and honorable. But I said on top of it, the best thing is she's just really funny, and you're gonna miss it. You don't even know. And I'm you know just ever hopeful that the girls out there that are in her, that came through that door are gonna be doing the same thing. All right, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Right, thank, thank, thank you, Tim, so much. Thank you. Uh, He's got my microphone. Uh, yes. Here at the Laugh Factory, big round of applause for Cinder Cronquist. And for Joan, ladies and gentlemen, for Joan Rivers tonight. Because Joan was a Jewish mother-in-law. Can you imagine? I had one of those. I was a black woman with a Jewish mother-in-law. The only thing we had in common is that we did not want to get our hair wet, okay? Okay. Big round of applause for the very funny Tim Allen, everybody. <laughs> nice to see you guys back on the show. Weird night. Horrible night, weird. Uh, it's comedy. Yeah. I love it. I work in Vegas at uh, the, the casino I work at, which is the Venetian. Joan worked worked the same room, so I'm thinking typical comic. I'm still fucking following Joan. <laughs> That's all I think back there. Goddamn comics, yeah. Oh, don't come. No start. Anyway, it's nice to have you guys here. I hear all those those that background. I feel like I feel like my career's done. 
No, you know, Toy Story, all this stuff. All these things remind me about <laughs> these. Tim, great set tonight, Tim. What's the question? Just want to get to my job. Here I go, guys. Tim, up here. Excuse me, Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. That's enough. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Hey, guys. No more. open the door and she's made it possible but it's not a glass ceiling it's not like you think here we, we accept anybody who's funny and she made it very apparent that the, the women have a, a sensibility like none other. okay thanks Tim thank you so much great set right, thanks 9 30 tomorrow all right guys